Welcome to the Pro Groups tutorial. We'll start by opening up the Pro Groups window, click Tools, Pro Groups, and then Pro Groups window. Right now we have zero groups, we'll start by creating a few. The first group we'll create will be for all of these cubes in the scene. I'll select them, and then I just drag and drop into the main Pro Groups window. And it's created a group for those. If you click on the drop down next to the group name, You'll see all the objects in the group, and you can click any of the red X buttons to remove that object from the group. To rename the group, just double click on the name and give it any suitable name. In this case, I will call it Cubes. Once you've created the group, you can now use the group controls. Click on the arrow to select all items in the group. Click the I icon to toggle visibility on and off. Or click the freeze icon to toggle freezing on and off. When objects are frozen, you'll notice you can no longer move, rotate, or scale them, and the inspector is also frozen, so you can't edit any of the values for that object or manipulate it. This is especially useful when working on your level and you want to make sure certain objects are not edited by accident. Last in the group's details, you can see the number of items in the group at the very right. You can also create a new empty group by clicking under Create New, entering a name, and clicking the plus button. If you have nothing selected, it will be created with zero items in it, otherwise any items already selected will become part of this group automatically. To add items to this group, or any existing groups, select the items, and drag and drop onto that group. It will highlight in green to show you're going to add to that particular group. Now I can see via the drop down, all of these spheres are in my sphere group. You can modify groups by clicking on the settings icon next to the create new group button up here. Here you can move groups around in order and also delete entire groups. If you delete an entire group it's going to ask you are you sure you want to do this and also let you know all the objects in that group will become unfrozen, visible, but will not be deleted. Once you're done editing make sure and click on the done button so you can continue using pro groups as usual. You can also put items into multiple groups. For example, we have spheres and cubes, but we'd also like to create a group for all meshes. In this case, I'll select all the meshes in the hierarchy, name a new group, meshes, and click the plus button. And now I have all these objects also in the group meshes. Here things can get a bit more complicated. For example, I can turn off all the meshes so they're no longer visible, but I can turn back on just the cubes. So even though meshes is showing as invisible, we now have cubes visible, but it's part of meshes. So here you just have to keep track of which items you've set in groups, and remember always just to be sure, double toggle on and off. This can be confusing, but it does enable a lot more advanced functionality. And that's it for Pro Groups. This is a very simple tool, but can be extremely useful in keeping your scene organized, especially if you're working in a team or collaborating with others in some way. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out all our other tools, such as ProGrids, ProBuilder, and the new PolyBrush.